Yeah, we're uh, somewhere near Santiago in Spain, uh, O Gran Camino stage race. Four days, uh, first day here, we have like 188 Ks, quite a bit of climbing, but uh, yeah, a bit of snow as you can see, rain and uh, pretty uh, nice conditions today. So we'll see see how it goes, but we have quite a good team, seven guys here, so it should be, should be good fun. This is a pretty pretty high level race for, for the guys. It's, uh, probably one of the, the most difficult ones they'll have to do this year. And um, for me, it's important for them to, to get their marks. And like I said, they've, they've no learning points now. It's straight away uh, with this race with teams like Movistar and Jumbo Visma and Confidus Astana. So uh, it's obviously going to be a tough one. But we come here with a, with a plan and we try, try and do our best. Um, today, Luke's going to try and go for the sprint. If it's a little bit too hard, we'll see how Paul goes. And then obviously, I think tomorrow is a bit more easy in terms of tactics. It's a proper mountain stage uh, with a very, very steep uh, finish. So tomorrow it's only it's more about the legs. But it'd be interesting to, for the guys to to see at what point they are after a long winter break and this kind of long period of training. So it's quite interesting when you go to these uh, to first races. Unfortunately, first races for us. Some of these guys in the pro peloton have already done four or five races since uh, since January. So we're at stage two of Gran Camino, we've got a hilly day ahead with most of the climbs in the back end of the race. So hopefully me and Ollie can go for a result there. A cold start, but I think it's going to get warmer as the day goes on. Uh, another longish day and the climbs are sort of back loaded. So I think it'll be a hard finale and we're ready to give it everything at the end. The team's goal, try getting the break. Um, and then I think just try and do as well as we can up the hill. Yeah. Hopefully dry weather today too. Yeah, so the boys were really well into the base of the uh, penultimate climb. Got me into good position up there. And then um, it was really quite controlled up the climb. And then we rode really uh, quick on the descent. And that's where Luke and the other boys got me into position for the final climb. And then once the final climb, was just full gas from the bottom, really. And uh, just held on our best I could. And then hit the cobbles as hard as I could. We're at stage three of Gran Camino um, and I got into the white jersey yesterday so it'll be about trying to yeah, maintain that and improve my position on GC. We've got a few hard climbs coming up today. So, yeah, try and get as much advantage as I can off there. It's snowing again, but... Yeah, it's the uh, last route stage, so it'll be... Yeah. It's all down this one, and yeah, see what it's like. It should be hard and good. And today we will do all for Lucas, uh, for the general young classification. Uh, the weather is really bad, but we will do the best. The stage has been shortened today, where we had a finishing loop with two climbs and um, we're going to go straight down the valley up to the final climb just because you might see in the background it's a pretty pretty grim day it's not raining it's not snowing but they just couldn't clear the road so for safety reasons they decided to go straight to the finishing climb another thing is on the finishing climb we will finish about two and a half kilometers below the initial uh, climb but it's still i don't think it's going to make a massive difference because um, the steeper part is already at uh, at the bottom part so plan today is to, um, to work around, around Lucas, put him in the best position um, as we can coming into the, this, the real final. So in the last 15 kilometers, it's like a couple of kilometer climb before we hit the final climb. So um, the initial plan this morning was to maybe try and get one or two riders in the breakaway. I think it's important for the guys to go in the breakaway. Uh, but now it looks like it's going to be very fast, very rolling roads. 
So the other plan was to really stick around Lucas to make sure that he comes in safe into the bottom climb and all he has to focus about is putting out a performance. Again, you're going to come up this third kilometer with a ramp 17, 18% through the last part of the third kilometer. Up, do that pacing, stick with that group. Uh, yeah, the boys were really good today. It was yeah, big fight into this final steep climb. So yeah, it was um, just hanging on to the side of the group and then um, on the climb I got up to the front and tried to stay there as long as I could and then didn't quite have the legs to stay with the leaders so it was just trying to hang on as best I could to the top. So we're on the final stage, stage four, of the uh, Gran Camino and Lucas is about to take the start in three minutes, four minutes and it's an uh, 18 kilometer time trial and he is uh, at the moment in top 10, he has to defend his top 10 and his white jersey. Yeah the TTU went well, I was pretty conservative around some of the corners just to play it safe but managed to uh, yeah, get the power out and do a good ride. Yeah, really happy to move up on GC a bit and keep the white jersey. And the team really helped all week. Uh, yeah, protect me from the wind and get me into key position before the climbs. So allow me to race really well. Uh, yeah, it's been a really good start to the season. Gives me some more confidence for the rest of the season. Yeah.